<coughs> so it turns out there is a third law of thermodynamics. We need to set this uh, before we start calculating uh, entropy changes for reactions. And the third law of thermodynamics states that the entropy of a crystal at zero Kelvin is zero. Now we can even prove the third law of thermodynamics actually quite uh, simply um, with an equation. Okay, and um, that's why I have this picture up here, um, which I think this is cool, okay? But I am well aware that things that I think are cool and what things that you think are cool may be different, okay? But this is Ludwig Boltzmann's grave, okay? And this is his gravestone, all right? And on his gravestone, he has an equation. I think that's cool, okay? If I ever die, if. But no, there's an equation on this, uh, um, his headstone. And that, all right, so the equation on Boltzmann's uh, gravestone is the equation for entropy. Okay. Uh, S equals K, now that's not rate constant, or, um, that's Boltzmann's constant, imagine that. There's a lot of Ks. Okay. All right, equals K, Boltzmann's constant. We don't have to worry about what it is. Log of W. Okay. So that's uh, Boltzmann's constant. And that W, if you go back to the technical definition of entropy, it's a number of ways a system can store energy. And that's what that W is. That's the number of ways a system can store energy. At zero Kelvin, what do we, what do, what's the name for uh, zero Kelvin? Absolute. Absolute zero, all right. That's as low as you can go, because what is temperature a measure of? Kinetic energy. Kinetic energy, okay. So as you cool something down, what are you doing? You're removing the kinetic energy. So if you're a solid or crystal, 298 Kelvin, you still got some vibrational kinetic energy. Your atoms are doing the solid dance, right? As you cool it down, you're removing kinetic energy and removing kinetic energy and removing kinetic energy. They're moving slower and slower and slower until eventually they would stop, theoretically. That, of course, is what we call absolute zero. That's zero Kelvin. No molecular motion. No kinetic energy. Well, zero degrees Celsius. This is zero Kelvin. Right. So at zero degrees Celsius, that's 290 Kelvin. Those water molecules still have a lot of kinetic energy at zero degrees Kelvin, or zero degrees Celsius. Frozen, yeah, they're still in there, doing the salt dance. Okay, that's, that's I don't know, oh, I'll calm down. Um, so at zero Kelvin though, they have, they're stopped moving. No molecular motion. You can't go, that's why there's no negative in Kelvin. You can't go to negative motion, there's no such thing. So that's just stopped. Zero Kelvin. Now, if you're a crystal, a solid, at zero Kelvin, how many ways can you store energy? Well, it turns out only one, your potential energy. Since you have zero kinetic energy, all you have is potential energy. So there's only one way you can store your energy. So it's only W equals one, okay? And what? So it's at uh, zero Kelvin, W equals one. So what's the log of one? Zero, it's zero. So that's why at zero Kelvin, S equals zero. So that's 
basically the third law of thermodynamics, right, in a nutshell.